So we are broadcasting. Okay. It says I'm screen sharing, but it's just so I'm just seeing my mic. Yeah, now it's saying you are no longer presenting. Ah, uh, okay. So I want screen share to share and present to everyone and get it off the screen because it'll just be an endless loop of it looking at itself. Aha. Uh -huh. There we go. Okay. All right, I'm going to throw that link into the Patreon and see what happens. Okay. <clears throat> My main worry at this point is other people being able to speak. They shouldn't be able to. They should have to use the Q&A app. But again, I guess we will figure that out. Well, I guess we'll find that out. Hi, Lydia. Lydia, never clear your throat again. <laughs> Could just blame it on Charlie. He is right here. What's going on? Oh, nothing. I'm just tired. Oh, okay. So you shared it, no problem. Uh, maybe. I mean, I posted it. Should we also do this to Google? I mean, to Twitter as a test I, thing? I will mention on Twitter that, yeah. If you're a patron, check out this thing, etc. Oh, I, I meant just open it to the public. Um, let's just do it for Patreon right now. Make them feel special. Okay. Since they're the suckers giving us money. Mm -hmm. Wait, this is being recorded. It is, yeah, archive. Yeah. You said that. <laughs> delete, delete. You can delete them, though. Okay, good.
The page is looking nice. What's that? So the page is looking nice. Oh, thanks. Oh, I might as well show you what I changed. Uh, let's see. My beautiful script. Your beautiful script has been destroyed. Ugh. I don't even want to see it. Tough. All right, so this was three panels. Okay. At the top of page three, most of Doctor Dinosaur's dialogue can just be laid in over it. Sure. But it was a series of shots that had this the Omnisaur coming through the wall as oh, panel right. three, and since really oh, I'm covering with my hand, like you can see that on the screen. <laughs> Derp. Derp. <laughs> Derp. I, I understand technology. All right, so. Since basically that's a page, right? Right. When we script things now, I have to think about, like that's a big reveal, him coming through the wall, but I can't, I can't stack like one, two, and then the big three reveal over here because a lot of people want to read right. in that direction. Um, and I'm running into that a lot because we've never really done this as the... Uh, in, in this format. It, it can sometimes work if I can um, uh, here. if I can if I can structure it like this one, two, yeah. three like then it can work but, but uh, yeah it's hard to get a good big reveal panel since we can't use the space down here anymore and just kind of to bump the panel down mm-hmm so it's just something to keep in mind for future scripting. But yeah, all of that dialogue can either be in the, somewhere in this first panel or even in the the third panel, the second panel. Does George want an invite? Uh, who cares what George wants? <laughs> you can Fair probably enough. just see it. Like, if he's got the link, he can click through. Right, but he can't talk. Yeah, but who cares? Ah, I see. You're saying that's a benefit, not a not a drawback. Never a drawback. <laughs> Yeah, I should get like crazy eyes when he gets when he starts charging up. Oh yeah, definitely. Like that possum in the amazing Mr. Fox. Oh yes, exactly like that. <laughs> definitely do that. Um, I decided to leave the head frill thing. Oh, is, you are using it, or I am using it. Yeah, I left it. Left okay. it in there.
I am not screen sharing the wrong screen because I am looking at what I'm doing in I've got Google, I've got the Hangout open on another monitor and I can see my own work. And it says I'm screen sharing and presenting, which means it should override you. Hmm. Oh, if he's right, then this is terrible. <laughs> yeah. What's the point? <laughs> uh. What George sees sucks. It doesn't even make sense because it's me. Yeah. So I'm screen sharing, presenting to everyone. Ah, your infinite loop. Oh, sorry. I can't, yeah, the, the, the contrast on the screen is so weird, I can't read everything. Did you get the, uh, can you answer the Q&A? Can you see that? Um, you got to turn the app on. It's on the left-hand side. It says Q&A. Ah, aha. There it is. How the hell do you answer it? Well, there should be one there. I got, you got to put you back on infinite loops because I can't do this from over here. Um. You should just there should just be something to click, and then the first uh, question is from George says, "Well, does Q and A work?" Yeah, I have that, but I don't have that button that you just pushed. Uh, yes, George, it works. Done. Oh, good. Well, that answers the question. He can hear us, and we can't hear him. Which is what we want. Yeah. Always. Um, yeah. Forever. And why can't he see my screen? How about now, George? I'm not presenting anymore. I'm just sharing it. OK. 
Can you see my screen now, George? Can George even hear us? Damn it. All right. Um, presenting to everyone, so how come no one can see us? We got nine viewers. Hi, everybody. Trying to work out some technical problems again. All right, so in theory, I'm screen sharing, I'm presenting to everyone, but no one actually sees the screen share. Awesome. Let's see. <coughs> All right, I will try turning it off and turning it back on. I am no longer screen sharing. Let's see. Okay, screen share. There's the screen I want. I'm sharing it now, and I am presenting to everyone now. And it should just be an endless endless loop of the Google Hangout screen, if you can see it at all. Oh, you can. I know you can. But that's because you're a host. You're not a, a viewer. Okay, hang on, George. Stand by. I feel like I'm going through a wormhole. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> How do I invite George to do this now that it's going? Uh, on, yeah. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Maybe I gotta go back to the other Google page to invite him. Um, it doesn't look like I can invite you now that it started. It looks like I have to invite you before it begins. Profile mute. There's that. Uh, let's see. Um, yeah, there's no, there doesn't seem to be any way to invite you now. The broadcast is actually happening. <clears throat> Good job, the Googles. Hmm. Let's see. Well, if anyone who's watching us knows how we can get the screen share to work, please, please type the answer into the Q&A uh, app. Uh -huh. All That's inviting people in. Uh, 
Um, you got the video now? What? Well, I didn't do anything, so God knows why you got the video now. Awesome. Points for being really strange. <laughs> Points for being consistently inconsistent. Google Hangout. So you can see the Derposaurus thing there. The leftmost of the five icons hovering mid top is the invite button. Does that work? Um, oh yeah. Oh, I gotta move back to the screen. Can't see anything. Ah, so presumably we had we just shared the wrong URL. What? <laughs> well, George, I tried inviting you from the the leftmost of the top icons there, but I think that's just to invite you to view the th thing. But hopefully, it's to invite you to participate slash host, whatever you want to call it. Got the video. Okay, good. Thank you, Carson. I hope that works. Oh, God. <laughs> My bad. Being so clicky in Google. Afraid to scroll over anything for opening up six pages. But it's to the same place. All right. So are we satisfied that this is working? Yeah. And I mean, no. I mean, we can keep going definitely, but does it seem to be working? Should we try and maybe field a few questions from the people that are watching? Or? Uh, if they ask anything. What's that? So if they ask anything. Yes. Now does the Q and A does that Q and A window pop up automatically for you guys or do you have to go hunting for the app on the left side of the screen? I had to hunt it down. Well you had to hunt it out, but you're you're hosting. Like, I'm kind of curious if every five minutes we have to remind people to turn that on so they can ask us questions. Man, I want to ask questions. What? I want to be able to ask questions. Uh, you can just ask them. So can you can you click on on uh, Casey's icon there and read whatever the question is? I can read the question, but I don't have that thing that says that it's answered. Um, that's fine. And they have, they have to hunt for the app. Oh, great. So we're going to have to remind people every five seconds that uh, let's start including a how to do this sheet. Well, there's also the dumb chat. Uh, yeah, we could just do straight up chat, whatever you want. Do 
to click the six squares to get to the Q&A section. leave you to fiddle with that. I'll like, try and figure out on the source here if I can get through the rest of this sketch tonight. That would be nice. Oh. Uh, we looked at Twitch. It involved using second-hand recording software. Officially too difficult to do. Maybe once we're in one location. Yeah, once we're sharing a studio, it might be feasible to set something like that up, but that won't be until the summer. Hello. Oh, crap. Uh, George. What did you do? How did you get in? Look, you, know you, you know that they can't come in unless you invite them. He's not a vampire. <laughs> exactly. Vampire you give me total... <laughs> flash businessman. You let the okay. wrong one in. <laughs> yeah. That's the sequel, by the way. <laughs> Maybe if we say his name three times, it will take away his power and he'll have to leave. <laughs> it's... You, no, the way that you summon George is that you go into the bathroom, you turn off the <laughs> I light. I already don't like this. <laughs> Stop right there. And you say, bloody George, three times or something. And he appears. You know, we all had that urban legend back in middle school with George. <laughs> or, uh, or, or, it, it, Bloody George or either Ramen Burger, Ramen Burger, Ramen Burger. That works too. <laughs> I've got to eat one of those before I leave the city. Uh, this, there's officially too many dinosaurs happening in one place here. I can't figure out where all the different spikes and plates and stuff are supposed to go. Ugh. Erasing. What kind of artist are you? One that doesn't have to worry about erasing a whole thing paper anymore, which is nice. See, professionals don't erase. That explains my scripts. Mm -hmm. <sighs> oh, okay. So, in the future, Scott, um, yeah. You can give moderation controls to Brian or, say, like myself, and then we can answer the Q&As and the other things. And how do so, I do that? Uh, in the con I believe it's in the control room. On that left nav bar, there's the little control room button that's oh. like... Yes. Ooh. Uh, all it lets me do is turn your mic and camera on and off and raise and lower your volume. That's all it does. Hmm. Then let me dig more, because that should be where you let us moderate and do things. Oh, That's you're no longer presenting. Oh, sorry. Hang on. Stand by. There we go. All right, let's see. So um, can you, uh, I'm a little unclear on whether or not you guys can actually see and answer and the questions in the Q&A. I can see them, and I couldn't give them answers. I just don't have that button that makes them go away. Yeah. Uh, oh, the, uh, I don't think I have a button to make them go away. Do I have a button to make them go away? Yeah, yeah you hover do. over to the, yeah. Oh, yeah, there. Delete question. I don't want to delete it. Uh, delete, delete. 
every time, right, every time you delete a question, they're just going to quit the Patreon. <laughs> All right, got it. A new question. Is it really ever possible to have too many dice? Absolutely not. It's, it's the problem. The problem is having too many dinosaurs in one body is the problem that's happening here. Hence the Omnisaurus. Yeah. Brilliant. Um, yeah, there might be a way... Uh, I'll dig into it. There might be a way for us to put into the showcase the Q&A. So that way people immediately get like a click for it. Yeah, all right, we'll need to figure out if that... How uh, do you... I will start poking around. Okay. Let's see if I can... <gasps> you added Google effects. Uh, no, you're not putting hats on my, on my drawings, please. <laughs> <laughs> do it. Do I wasn't going to, but now you told me to, basically. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, now he won't do it, and so he's just gonna put mustaches. <laughs> Let's see how it is. <sighs> Let's see. So I get, I, yeah. All right, cool. Well, I mean, we're more or less working. That's good. Yeah. Excited about that. All right. Somehow these crystal, these plates on his back have to be glowing. Yeah. Let's see if things break if I host an on air while I'm already in. I don't know okay. if you can. Nope, it won't let me. All right. I will be right back. I'm going to dive into the controls of the things in an opposite window and then report back. Okay. Thank you, George. Goodbye forever. Oh, I wish. We wish. So how okay, how do we make these things glow and not completely cover the tail thing? Hmm. Reading some of the comments from the Patreon post. Uh, this one guy says it's just working fine for him. Good. Uh, other folks had the same problem that George did with just the robo head popping up, but I think it has solved itself automatically. Oh, that's the best. When things just fix themselves, you don't know why. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hmm. Now, I wish I could just share the program instead of sharing my screen, but I guess it doesn't really matter. Just keep all your horse porno on the other monitor. Yeah, yeah. Moving it now. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so, should the should the spikes on his head on his Glow? Yeah, absolutely everything should glow. Oh, Christ. <laughs> that's not your problem. That's Anthony's problem. Well, no, i got to indicate it somehow. I mean... Yeah, because the script will say everything's glowing. Good luck. <laughs> yeah, but... Uh, yeah, I need some kind of, like, wishy thing. <laughs> there you go. Perfect. There it is. I'm done. <laughs> that's how the sausage gets made. Um... Let's see. I don't, yeah. Hmm. Well, I guess it could just be internal glow. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, sure. Why not? 
Nope, forget all that. Everything I just did there was done. I love control Z. I bet you do. It's not by your work. All right, in which case, I will keep these three dimensional. And then Anthony will probably knock out the line work, and we'll be good to go. Mm, Dr. Dinosaur. No one wants to know what issue this is for. Oh, this is uh, Free Comic Book Day uh, 2015. It's a surprise, though. Yeah, don't tell anyone else. There were so many sad people when we weren't in the Free Comic Book Day listing this year. It made me feel very good. So, yeah, we decided to do our own. It'll be online uh, around Free Comic Book Day. I think we're going to drop it on Free Comic Book Day, aren't we? Well, hopefully, yeah. Well. That's the plan at this point, anyway. Have a tie because no dinosaur lawyer worth his salt would not have a tie. Oh, yeah, what costuming did you go with? Because I really haven't seen these pages. Oh, uh, he's got a, a tie. Well, it's an excellent tie. He's got a tie that's tied wrong. He, right. had, he had like nerd glasses. Oh, perfect. But he slams them down on the judge's desk on like page two. Great. Um, and then he's got a suit. Jacket on? Okay. Um, and that's it. No backpack, sorry. Well, that would look ridiculous. Right, I mean, it wouldn't go with a suit. Yeah. I'm kind of fascinated by how much more Dr. Dinosaur becomes a Muppet every time you draw him. <laughs> well, this is super. T this is the problem I have with like doing too much detail in small spaces. This is tiny. This is just one little dude on the huge page. So it'll look totally normal when, when it's zoomed out. But yeah, he is getting more and more muppety, despite that. But he's super muppety here because I'm keeping the details down. Okay. <sighs> yeah, it's back. Uh, hey, George. Somebody. We're happy. <laughs> so, how I think we can work around this, there is not a way to link the Q&A in the showcase, but, uh, because the showcase is for, like, putting URLs and stuff in to talk about relevant content, so we'll always throw up, like, a link to the Patreon, a link to um, uh, the Robo website. But at the top, we should make sure we should just get um, we should throw up a page on the website or a public post on Patreon that is how to access the Q and A, right. um, and then that way, whenever people first hit this, the top thing on the showcase will be will be a link to a page that says, uh, "Here's how you can take care of asking us questions." Okay. All right. Sounds good. Yeah. I think it's the best way to handle it. All right, let's see. And I got to redo this whole thing. Yeah. yeah. Do, do, do I uh, sound okay, or should I put my headphones on? You sound fine. Oh, good. All right. There's, there's like, the very slightest, like, uh, you know, echo, but it's minimal. 
Okay, well, I mean, when we do the first official one, I'll, I'll put the, the fancy schmancy headphones on. We. Then I can actually listen to music, too, so that'll be nice. So, yeah, burning question. Uh, just got into the Q&A. You guys might not be able to see it because it's so burning and important. Uh, am I dead in canon? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is a question from you. Uh, oh, no, uh, like many fans just asked this. Yeah. <laughs> no, you, George like, is right. Like, the number one thing that I get Twittered is what happened to Canonical George. <laughs> canonical George and Canonical Anand. <laughs> uh, I like that your name is Canonical. That's, yeah... Uh, they're, they're brothers. <laughs> <laughs> what did happen to Canonical George and Canonical and on? Well, we didn't really decide the fate of anybody. No. Because, well, <laughs> some people. What, what I'm hearing <laughs> is this huge fan outcry. <laughs> <laughs> bring back Canonical George and kind of not. It's mostly not. Are you it's sure George doesn't have like several... <laughs> George doesn't have like several just, like ghost Twitter accounts that he's hitting us from. Well, no. See, this one, this one has like an egg for an icon, and it's following two people. <laughs> oh, that must be legit. Yeah, so that's real. <laughs> Are you accusing me of false flag tactics? <laughs> <sighs> Let's see. What issue is this for? Are we allowed we to cover that? Oh, really? Well, maybe you should mark it answered. I can't do that. Oh, son of a bitch. So that's because I'm hosting, and I shouldn't be the one hosting. Yeah, and next time, we should probably have Brian host. Well, we tried oh, that, and it was... tried that. Brian, it. yeah, um, it wouldn't let him start the Hangout. It kept put, He had to verify his YouTube account, because that's where these will get archived, mm -hmm. and then it set him up in a never-ending loop of going to, to verify the account, verifying it, coming back to start the Hangout, but then having to go verify his account again. And then when I would verify it, it would tell me, it's been verified. And I'd be like, that's great. Can I start it? Verify your account, please. Yeah. Um, we can potentially, uh, if these are easy on my time, we can run them through this. Um, well, probably by the time break. we do it again, it'll have remembered that I really am verified. Yes. Okay. Um, and to answer the question of, uh, uh, this is for free comic book day 2015. Where did they answer that? And let me, uh, let me, I'll show you the full dino. The full dino outfit. Uh, blah, blah. Maybe that's on page two. Maybe not, maybe page two. You know, gave me page, page one. <laughs> let's just show him the whole issue, Scott. <laughs> just, <laughs> let's just go through it. Okay, there's a spoiler. Dr. Dinosaur's involved, and something's going to explode. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, really, they're, they're not... They're not, they're not, not going to remove any of the magic. So there you go. He's got his... Oh, I love it. It's such a terrible disguise. Perfect. <laughs> it just keeps definitely, getting worse. Definitely perfect. I like how they're just kind of like <laughs> falling off his face the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> and then he does have his briefcase down here. Good. My law box. <laughs> Look at all that evidence. Look what a case he must have. <laughs> uh, Good times. Yes. But he's... He's set. He's, he's well... Was he, was he missing glasses in that last panel? Oh, son of a bitch. Oh, I'll, I'll do a pass on glasses before I'm all done. You need to get a good artist for this thing. This is perfect art. Oh. Yeah, now it makes sense. Before it was just kind of a mess. Open your mind, Dennis Quaid. <laughs> <laughs> Open your mind. Work. I'm gonna have to ask Quaid. That's the actor. What was Quaid's? What was Quaid's first name in the movie? 
uh, <laughs> I don't know all I think of is Quaid. I guess I can mark this as done. Hmm. So can you guys all, are you, Brian and George, are you guys able to open the chat also? The I chat is we have been just flirting for us. In Wait, what? You talked over each other? The oh, chat it's... is just for us. Oh, it's, it's just... not for oh, Okay. Gotcha. So, yeah. The Q&A is for public. Got um, So I can ignore the chat then. It's just you two. Yeah. That's where we can type secret things to each other. Oh. <laughs> okay, Ted Cruz. <laughs> What's the difference between the lines? Um, yeah, it. I start with like a big sloppy layout of the page, and then these are like sketchy pencils, and then once I'm done with these... I will go in and do uh, a layer of like finished ink, like clean inks. So the first one is just to block out big shapes. The sketch layer here is for getting in most of the detail, but not worrying about how clean it is. So would you say you're back to inking? I guess you can call it inking. I mean, it's. It's all just photons on a screen, right? I'm calling yeah. you call it whatever the hell you want to call it. I guess it's the same process you were doing when it was all pencil. But it's the same, yeah. But which was also the same process I was doing it when it was regularly yeah. traditionally inked. The process really isn't any different. This is just a lot more efficient and kind of faster. Except when you get hung up on one hand. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, well that's, so with the pencil here, I keep it, I don't know if you can see the size thing down at the bottom of the screen, but I don't let it get too small, so it, it mimics an actual pencil on an actual piece of page, a piece of paper, so it prevents me from going into like one little corner here and just doodling for hours. Those are hard though. And then the colors are just to make it easier for me to see what I'm doing. And since it's digital, it's just fun to work in stupid colors. So. <laughs> Don't have to worry about how hard it's going to be to make it all disappear in Photoshop anymore. Okay, two people from the Patreon comments, the most recent two, uh, have commented that they just got to see the video just by clicking through the link that was provided. Oh, good. You didn't have to do anything goofy. Well, that's good to hear. So I think maybe we should just start broadcasting bef you know, well before, like 10, 20 minutes before, <laughs> just to let it you know, catch up. Um, it doesn't seem to be lagging very far behind now. No, it's not lagging, but like it, it took it uh, 20, 10 to 20-ish minutes oh, before okay. they go from the robo head to just showing everybody the video. That's really strange. And like once it started showing it, it was right on time. Okay. Uh, 
Oh, actually, there's something I thought of. Um, was there, I didn't pay attention, was there a time that you set for the thing to officially start? Uh, nope, uh, just, uh, you can you do that now. schedule the event and tell people about it, but um, okay. starting it, I just, just started it, and it was, it was okay. you were either on the air or off the air, and I didn't care what time. Okay. Hmm. Seems to have messed up here. There's a shoulder, there's a... Hmm. Hmm. So, when are you going to write a story arc, Brian, that involves skeletal horses riding bicycles? Oh, I can't wait to draw that. That is very soon. <laughs> riding down uh, spiral staircases. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Those are super easy to draw, no problem. Oh, now you're just cheating. That's why I got this thing, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't like how the. Uh, mm. <laughs> now, uh, yeah. <laughs> I can't even speak. I'm so disgusted by what I just saw. <laughs> you're not a real artist anymore, Scott. Mm, I can live oh, with that. Digital. Belly. I would never condescend to copy and paste any art or text. No. <laughs> or to hit the backspace key. Although that is pretty obvious. <laughs> Tuck this in here. Robo's starting to look a little too much like me. <laughs> <laughs> Arms correct. Son of a bitch. Tyler's <laughs> All right, back here. <sighs> yep. Uh, yes, I am. Uh, I should act. Yeah, I'm working on a Cintiq. Which is mostly nice, except it's like a frictionless surface, so it's kind of strange also. I really don't get like why it's so hard to create a pen nib that will like stick on this plastic screen, so you get some resistance to what you're doing. Shoulder. Noel asks if there's any uh, exciting news about the RPG. I don't know. Is there? Is there? I don't know. Um, the text for the upcoming supplement, which is for Majestic 12, is pretty much done. Uh, Mike actually just sent me Mike Olson, the super rad guy who does all the mechanics and stuff. Uh, 
sent me an email earlier today about uh, coming up with some, helping him to come up with some, uh, uh, like, adventure seeds. And uh, I think we've got some pretty solid ones so far, and there's just a couple more to make. And uh, from there, I think it's mostly editing and layout. Oh, and getting the art done. Who cares? No one cares about the art. Yeah. It's not even worth looking at. You can just copy and paste things from your pages. Like, whatever. It's just easy. <laughs> <laughs> not even, like, Majestic 12 stuff. Just whatever. <laughs> yeah. Not even, like, a real full panel. Just, like, a slice. <laughs> Yeah, just Robo's arm, yeah. just randomly. <laughs> Dr. Dinosaur's tail. <laughs> well, I know what you I could I could trace over some of Scott's art and then sign my name to it. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Somehow I think we'd get more for that. <laughs> um gosh, now I really want to do Dr. Dinosaur paper dolls. <laughs> we could do that. Yeah, why not? I mean, he has a million outfits. <laughs> because we hate money, apparently. <laughs> yeah, that'd be kind of great. Oh, oh! I actually found a vendor for magnets. I should just do that as a magnet set for, like, something soon. Yes. Dr. Like Dennis for a magnetic poetry set? Uh, <laughs> not, not magnetic poetry, though. That'd be good. But just, like... Dr. Dinosaur as a magnet, and then all the outfits are magnets. Yeah. Like, there's tchotchke Jesus ones, typically, that you see floating around. Or, so like. Dr. Dinosaur G uh, Jesus. <laughs> yes. Gold. I mean, he's a time traveler, so why not? <laughs> Who could we possibly offend? <laughs> Besides everyone, yeah. Uh, not there. Although, uh, going, getting back to the question, kind of, oh. uh, Mike and I are really interested in doing other supplements as well. Um, I think one was one plan was to detail uh, several of the other Majestic Twelve like you know other factions out there. Not necessarily all of them getting a book each, uh, but you know maybe doing two or three in, in another uh, supplement. And I think we both really want to do something with the um, you know Tesla's pre Robo era, you know the, the centurions, uh, centurions of science stuff. Because there's a whole lot of material material there to play around with, but we'll see. Oh yeah, Brian, I didn't feel like drawing an office full of people, so I made it a parking garage with two people in it. Oh, that's fine. I mean, that destroys my vision. Mm. And as we all know, you are the most supreme of artists, Brian. Yeah, obviously. With your craft. You know, Ape Theater didn't just come out of nowhere. A genius had to do that. <laughs>
shoot. Language. <laughs> Think of the children, Scott. <laughs> Jeez. If they're not dead by now, you're a bad parent. <laughs> it's nine. That's right. It's school day handy. And that means bedtime's like 11.30. I don't know if most kindergartners stay up that late. The cool ones do. <laughs> the ones with sleep disorders and <laughs> learning disabilities, maybe. And drinking habits. Them, too. Look, they just developed that from the Robitussin, okay? It's not on them. <laughs> it's not their fault. Hey, Robitussin is a parent's best friend. If Atomic Robo had a soundtrack, who would you want to write it? Ooh. I think that I feel like that would depend on the era. Yeah, it totally would. I don't think I'd want like a John Williams kind of orchestra. <laughs> I think I think it should all just be whatever contemporary music from the era that the story is taking place in. Except for dubstep. No dubstep, no. <laughs> Robo hates dubstep, that's well established. Oh man. In my head. Please I think it would like hurt his brain. <laughs> Please, everyone, make as many fan AMVs oh, of Robo involving God. dubstep. God damn it, George. <laughs> Hold on. I need to make a call to Skrillex real fast. <laughs> Got a hot new business plan idea. <laughs> Annoy these two guys. Uh, you'd make my daughter's day. How many times has Robo's head been rebuilt? His head? Mm-hmm. Uh, none yet. What? Once as of volume 10, I guess. Like, I suppose bits and pieces of the outside have been replaced a bunch. And like, bits and pieces of the inside, but I don't know that there's ever been, like, a full... You know, redesign. Because that's a really that because that's an interesting thing. Uh, that's an interesting rabbit hole to crawl down into. Because since he is his core, like he could just one day be like, I want to be a tiger. <laughs> I, I, want a, I want a robot tiger body. Why don't I do this? I have been so stupid all these years. <laughs> what have I been thinking? Exactly. Time for. I want to be a beautiful robot centaur. <laughs> exactly. I'm not drawing that. <laughs> Volume 11. <laughs> Island of the Robot Centaurs. Uh. Actually, you can do all the centaurs you want. Horses are easy now. I figured them out. <laughs> Thanks, Old West. You should have asked Brian Hurt for help with that. <laughs> Who? Brian Hurt. Uh -huh. um, the artist on uh, Sixth Gun. Slash... Yeah. yeah. He has had to draw so many goddamn horses. <laughs> They're easy when they're doing stuff like galloping and, and, and in motion, but when they're just standing around, it, it, I, they, I find them really annoying to draw. <laughs> they are really weird looking. They are. As an animal. I'm sorry if anyone here actually is a horse. They're weird looking. We just lost $200 from the Patreon. Oh, man. <laughs> Mm 
But is that theoretically plausible for Robo to just for, for Robo to just suddenly go? I I want to be in a weird, different Robo bo- uh, Robo body. I presume so. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. I think um, it's never happened because uh, I just assume that Robo's kind of vain and he really likes the way that he looks. Yeah, and, and I presume. Like, because of the way that he learns, he's not just, like, a god machine. Um, yeah. He would have, like, a whole crazy learning curve, so he would be, like, big dog yeah. from, from DARPA and just be running, like, <laughs> hey guys. Perfect. God, uh, now, oh, now I kind of want to see that. <laughs> now, I, God, now I want that to be Atomic Robo 2016. <laughs> Robo, like, Robo testing out different body types and just, like, flailing. <laughs> Well, that happens a lot in Volume 10, actually. Good. Uh, have you seen the videos of Big Cow or Big Horse? I don't remember what they call it. Yes. No, giant, I don't I don't like the, it. The giant fat butt version of that thing. Yeah. Nope. Don't like it. <laughs> oh, that's so creepy. Yep. Oh, they're just, they are horrifying. My favorite is the one, uh, the demonstration of it stabilizing after being, like, uh, uh, booted. And someone lot. and someone went ahead and dubbed over it, like, after after it gets kicked and it stumbles. It just, they just dubbed over this voice of someone going, what the hell, Carl? <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> oh, that's one of those creepy llama things. Uh, my daughter watches them all the time. They're gross. I know, I, yeah, never mind. (laughs) Yeah, but it's pretty good. (laughs) This is what a car attacker looks like, right? A car what? Tire. Look, who knows what cars are made out of? It's upside down and diagonal. (laughs) Bad parking. Uh, kinda, yeah, sure. Right, it's passable. Close enough. Well, it's, it's roundish. It's just the sketch. I have it. It's not the finished product. <laughs> what model car is that? Uh, looks like a Jeep Grand Cherokee to me. Wow, great! Now we just got sued. Thanks, <laughs> Scott. <laughs> Are you implying that if you destroy one of our cars, it would crash? <laughs> Unsafe with the dinosaur at any speed. We believe that ordinary motorists of any sort, mm, be they dino or otherwise, <laughs> I don't even know what's underneath cars. Ugh. There's like tubes. Tubes and boxes. Yeah. A manifold or something. As long as they look believable, it's good enough. <laughs> what is not believable is the perspective here. It's looks like a giant robo. I gotta... Yeah. <laughs> it's oh. like giant robo crawling up to like a bar. <laughs> I gotta go to order for a drink. From the miniature car bartender. All right, all right. Oh, look at how much you're cheating! Oh my god, it's the best. Oh. I mean, if I had respected you as an artist, this would come as a real disappointment. Yeah, that would be better. <clears throat> Oh yeah, plans on the next stream. Do we have any? On the next what? Do we have any plans for the next stream? Like when? Oh, uh, no. Now that we've figured out how to get this to work, we should probably pick a date. Huh? Yeah. Soon? Can we just... Is soon good? Now, I didn't get that question. Where'd that come from? It, it was on there. It disappeared. He may have had to have, uh, leave. Oh. I'll never know. Uh... 
Should we do it this week or next? Um, I can do it this week. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. We could do it this Friday. I think. Do we make plans this Friday? Me? No, not you. I'm waving it. Do we have any plans this Friday? Uh, because now that we've got this working, we have to kind of think about an actual. As far as you know, no. Tentatively Friday. How about that? Sure. We don't need to give a crazy notice. A lot of people kind of do it with like haphazard scheduling. They're just like, ah, I'm going to do a stream now. Yeah. So, Scott, you can totally feel free to do streams kind of whenever you want and just be like, hey, I'm going to be drawn. Very good. I'm not going to answer questions or anything. <laughs> just tell me or I'm pretty. Might. So when are we going to do Atomic Robo The End? <laughs> what? <laughs> which, uh, version, which ending is this? <laughs> hey, Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> Charlie's got some strong opinions about he this. He really does. He's like, no. <laughs> That's okay, my cat food. He knows I have no other skills in life. <laughs> yeah, I do worry about that myself. Oh, so tiny. Whoa. Uh, Noel now asks us if we want to, or if we do play any other RPGs. Uh, like non-robo RPGs? Yeah. Although he does note, and quite correctly, that playing the robo RPG is a really strange uh, experience for you and I. It's kind of like work. Yeah. A couple of times we've demoed it, it felt exactly like work. <laughs> Which robo. is a good thing. Because it, it feels exactly, playing it feels exactly like Making the process it. of creating this thing. Yes. It's great for you guys, but for us it's like, uh, I should be getting paid. <laughs> I just did this for 10 hours. I want to yeah, do something I else. I want to break. <laughs> uh, but but, uh, but what? So. Yeah, we're not, I'm not playing anything. I don't know if Scott sort of sometimes does. Uh, let's see. I was in a Pathfinder game for a little while. Well, a couple months. Um... My secret strategy is to convince you to move your whole family down here and then to run some games for me. Oh, yeah. Right, because I have time to do that. <laughs> if you have time to play, you have time to run. Oh, snap! Untrue. Totally true. Look, I can remotely run a game of something for you guys. I oh. don't want that. I do. George has <laughs> cars. Well, you know what? The problem, like, I would still be playing in the Pathfinder game, but I just I hate the system, and like, I want to play using the... like. I really love the Fate system now. I want to play games using the Fate system. Or the, the Fate accelerated system is fun, too. If D &D was just, if our D&D &D game was just using that system, I think I'd be more interested. But I also can't consistently commit to every Wednesday night. I just don't want George to make me have to have sex with an elf. No! Please. <laughs> Elves are gross. Well, whatever. Bridge troll. Yeah. Centaur. <laughs> Centaur. Where <laughs> the Smash cards be? The Come bad. on, man. It's going to be a kinder. <laughs> <laughs> a kinder centaur. That's all I need. A pony kinder. <laughs> all right, I'm too tired to draw cards. I'm saving this page and moving on to another page. <laughs> We should schedule one of these for like when it's like less close to. Yeah, we can do them in the afternoon, whatever. Yeah. What was that? That was page five, page six. Actually, I am going to leave and feed the cats and then not come back because I hate you guys. Aww. Wow, rude. <laughs> but, but, but honest. honest. 
we do way to treat that. way to treat your loving, appreciative fans. No, I Brian. like them. It's you two I don't like. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, that's understandable. Yeah. Yeah, I, I instantly knew who he meant. There's no way. <laughs> Man, go feed Charlie. He's so, so sad. <laughs> oh, it's all an axe. It's just, oh, oh, I'm starving. Oh, I'm going to die. Oh, I'm passing out from death. <laughs> it's like, I can see that you're fat. You are not really hungry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I will catch you chumps later, and right. uh, we shall stream again. Yep. All right, cool. Now this isn't going to collapse. No, because I'm posting it, right? Correct. All right, I will. Well, we'll go for another couple minutes, and then we'll wrap it up. I All right. Quit. <laughs> Can't just close the windows, Brian. Yeah, you just close the windows. It's all window. maximized, and there's nothing. F11. Oh wait, you're on a Mac. Yeah. You're screwed. I know. Oh, I'm stuck on this thing forever. <laughs> You can't leave. Hit escape. I'm not doing it. I hit the Mac button and escape. Doesn't make any sense. The uh, Mac button fixes everything, doesn't it? If Steve Jobs was still alive, this would work. <laughs> wow, rude. Okay, whatever. I'm just you, know when he died, you know when he died, his life did not flash before his eyes because Macs don't support flash. Oh, dang. Wow. Sick burn. <laughs> Take that, Steve Jobs. Okay, I'm just going to quit Chrome. That'll, that has to log me out. <laughs> <laughs> Bye forever. <laughs> I sure hope you didn't have any tabs open you needed. <laughs> uh, that. <laughs> yeah, I definitely need to be not the one in charge of the questions. Keep forgetting to look for them. Yeah. I think that will be pretty easy to take care of. Yeah. Um, Yeah, and even if we have to get just a um, use a one of the like uh, generic Tesla Dan accounts to start the Hangout um, yeah. and host the videos, what we can do is we can download the copies and then um, give you versions to just you know iMovie do it like two or three times speed for like whenever there's you're working on one specific ALO, so next time you do a stream and you're working on, say, a cover, yep. um, then that way, you know, there's the stream with the talky bits and everything, but then you can put on your personal YouTube, like, oh, hey, guys, or put it up privately, and then we can share it with all the, you know, patrons who don't want to watch a, you know, hour, two hour, three hour, whatever, um, you know, They don't want to see video. how TV my job it really is, yes. <laughs> yeah. We can just do like a really quick like speed up of. I like watching those too because it makes art look really easy, <laughs> and it makes me think that someday I can make art. <laughs> one day, Scott, you'll get there. One day. One day. Well, time for some cheating. And 
cheating is the best. Wow. No respect. <laughs> been really disconcerting the few times I've gone back to drawing on paper when I, I'm like I'm like trying to like control Z my way out of a mistake <laughs> very frustrating Oops. Elbow, shoulder. I haven't had to draw a naked robo in such a long time I've forgotten how to do his chest. Question um, from Noel's sister, uh, who's not uh, super far along in the comics. Uh huh. Uh, why does Robo even wear clothes? The same reasons. Well, I guess we'd be arrested if we didn't wear clothes, but <laughs> but the same fundamental reasons that we wear. So you're saying he has robots? He does. Yeah, he has. If that's what you need. To believe and sleep at night, wrote George. <laughs> no one takes a naked robot very seriously, so. Hmm. I have never drawn Dr. Dinosaur from this particular angle. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I have no idea what you're doing with that. That thumbnail just. I don't know what's going on, man. He splatted up against a wall. He was traveling in this direction at great, with great velocity. <laughs> okay. So it's like he's smacking into a wall, and then he's going to run straight forward. So. Not like he's already smashed into it. Like, Robo reacts to... You don't see it, but Robo reacts to it in this panel. And then you look over, and there's Dr. Dinosaur plastered to the wall. But I've never... Hmm. He's a very lumpy fellow, so like figuring out how to plaster him to the wall and figuring out how to draw a chicken. Oh, that's what I should do. I should just go get a chicken and a frozen chicken and lay it, throw it at the wall really hard, I guess, but lay it out. Uh.
Mm. Oh, maybe that, yeah, yeah. Make that the top. <clears throat> I suppose his lawyer coat wouldn't survive. I mean, it would probably be a little in tatters. Well, Omnisaur, like all good, you know, mutant dinosaurs, has like all sorts of crazy energy projection powers. I would assume that would blow everything off, but keep some of his clothes on. Uh, oh, now I'm disoriented. Where the hell's the top of the page? There we go. It still just looks utterly insane. Well, it should, yeah. <laughs> 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 Wouldn't be Dr. Dinosaur if it looked normal or plausible in any, <laughs> any way, shape, or form, right? I guess. I love that we keep him off model, though. <laughs> Not off model. <laughs> no, 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 I mean like that within the comic series, like he he goes the most off model for ridiculousness in comparison oh, yeah. to other like people. Everyone yeah. else stays pretty on model. Um but I like that he the absurd character is the one that will consistently change to make a joke funnier, and <laughs> that's beautiful. <laughs> All 
Dr. Dinosaur has to have the sturdiest <laughs> neck. <laughs> he does get strangled by Robo a fair amount. <laughs> yeah. I can't wait till we reveal that an aging, um, uh, like, memory afflicted robo with a decay with a decaying memory core accidentally creates a Doctor Dinosaur it's, uh... and sends him back in time. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's the last thing he ever does. <laughs> Why would he do that, though? Is it just like robot dementia? Thinks it's yes. a good idea? Yeah. Yeah. He's just working on new, like, bioorganic life or something like that. <laughs> it really does figure out a way to bring dinosaurs back. Or he's working on crystals. <laughs> <laughs> In his dementia. <laughs> He's like, I need an assistant. Wasn't there a dinosaur that helped you with this at some point? Whatever, <laughs> whatever, like, oh, and then that turns into dinosaurs know about crystals. I know. I need a dinosaur assistant. I'll make one. <laughs> uh, that would make a great free comic book day story as long as you end it with, like, Robo waking up in a cold robot sweat. From <laughs> just, scre just screaming. <laughs> I always want to do Robo, uh, like Robo dream stories, where like you know, he must go somewhere when you know he's getting his maintenance done or being repaired or whatnot when he loses consciousness. I mean, we kind of did to that. Be real weird. What's that? I said it has to be real weird. We could yeah. do it. Uh, oh God! Now, now I want to be, now I want to be awful and say. We should do a 3D glasses issue. Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's actually not that difficult. Um, it is it is far less difficult than you would think. Okay. It's literally just setting up, like, the ink. Um, I mean, it works a lot better if you're just working with uh, black and white. Um, right. uh, you can do it with color, but it isn't as impressive. But, um, uh, yeah, the... With it, if it's just the typical like red blue ones, um, uh, you can do it as it like the variance that you have to do is super simple. Like the offset that they right. have to be, it, it, basically you just in design like in design lay the pages out and just red gets set like offset this much, uh, you know, blue gets offset right this much, and that's it. Yeah, yeah, I remember seeing a sketchbook done by uh, Rebecca Mock, but it was, I forget if it was, like, on the, if it was digital or physical, I can't remember anymore, but you, you use 3D glasses. She, to... she did a physical one, um, that was with this one printer, uh, um, I forget which Makai has it, but, uh, yeah, it's a really, really slick, fancy yeah. printer. Figure out Dr. Dinosaur's eyes. There's so many ways to go to make it work right. <laughs> I think this might be it. 
there really needs to be we we really need to do the real dinosaur um time travel bits. <laughs> <laughs> But we need to have Dr. Dinosaur involved so he's just screaming imposters at all times. <laughs> hmm. These two panels kind of worry me a little bit. What? Well, because it's supposed to be Dino's feet kicking down here. Mm hmm. Kind of scratching at Robo's legs, mm -hmm. but uh, I might have to make them bigger, something bigger or smaller, so that it doesn't look like I just chopped the two panels in half badly. Oh yeah. Mm. So far, okay. I guess. Wait, I don't think he had a shredded knee on that leg, did he? No. Well, he would have it now. <laughs> <laughs> True. <laughs> <laughs> What do Robo's kneecaps look like? How is the picture quality? It's good. On the screen share, I can't really tell. Because I've, I've got it on my secondary monitor, but the contrast is so screwed up on it, so I can watch dark, uh, so I can watch TV and stuff, but the the lighting's always really bad on the shows I watch. Like, it's always very dark, so I got it all turned up real high. So I can't read any of the text over there. And the No, it looks good. Good. Good, good. That. Did those um did the lab coats did they those got sent out to people uh, or are they still waiting on stuff? They're in the process. Yeah. Yeah. Did they go down to uh, amplifier? No, no, no. They're just getting sent out by me. Uh, There's no reason to. Uh, every with everything else from those uh, sets got sent out to cool. the people. Just they just didn't get the lab coats because of the weird uh, changes people had made okay. and, and, and late additions. That's enough to make off of. Oh, right. <clears throat> This is one of those visual jokes that I think works much better on the script than is going to work on the page. But <laughs> like he's supposed but, to like hit the wall and then slide slow mo down the wall, but how do you? 
how do you slow mo slide in a still picture? Um, Not I easy. would say, I, I instead of his hand, I think it would be like him just like slumped on the ground. Right at the like, bottom, like in a pile at the bottom. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I think you might be right. <laughs> with, with, with the hand up, like how you have it, so that way it's like him, his hand, like still kind of like trailing down, but then the rest of his body in a lump. Mm. Like, gazing into the middle distance at Robo, like, oh, oh good. <laughs> Everything is going according to plan. <laughs> Everything is always a going according to plan. Neck, googly eyes. Maybe the dark and dice were laying a pile here. Like Robo's foot coming down in the foreground. Yeah. I can draw feet. <laughs> Totally, the feet look like. Mm -hmm. Hey,
perfect. No, I'll need to mess around with that, but I'm pretty tired. <laughs> yeah, we should call it. It's like nearly 10 after 6. This was a good test. Now we know we can do things. Yes. Yay for things. Yay. Cool. Um, thank you guys for uh, hanging out while we figure out. Oh, hang on. Thanks so much for streaming. Yeah, cool. Uh, thanks so much for helping us figure out if this would work, and we will get a message out to all the Patreon supporters to let you guys know we're going to officially do one of these. Cool. cool. All right, how do I make it? Oh, let's see. Just close the window. Just no, close. Oh, I stopped broadcasting. There we go. Cool. All right, I will see everybody later. Bye.